Motion City Soundtrack are a much underrated Minneapolis city band, but their sweet sound captured the latest move in the markets with their album last month, Panic Stations. Everything has its limits, however. A song from their previous album sums up what investors should be thinking about, with the line, I give up, I give in, I surrender, I'm afraid, I'm afraid of it all. In market jargon, that's capitulation, although the words are rather hard to crowbar into a decent lyric. An investor fear reaches such an extreme that people sell without really worrying about the price. They've given up, given in and surrendered, and there's serious money to be made. The same pattern occurs again and again in financial markets. A long slide as buyers and sellers battle over the right price, then a sudden collapse as the last of the bulls admits defeat and prices plunge. This red line shows the clear-cut case of Glencore, the uh, miner and commodities trader, trader, which saw its shares plummet last week. Today they rose 5% and they were briefly above the 125 pence at which new shares were issued a fortnight ago, which took the total gain since their low last Monday to an extraordinary 85%. That gives you some idea of the scale of this fall when you think that rise there is 85%. Now the panic cleared out shareholders who weren't completely committed to the company and replaced them with bargain hunters better able to put their money at risk. Obviously after a fall like this that could have carried on down before the rebound. Now, the fact that they've got uh, more solid hands holding their shares doesn't guarantee a turnaround, of course. If copper prices collapse again, or credit lines are pulled, or any number of other possible disasters hit the company, the shares can always tumble. But the immediate fear-driven fall does look to be over. The wider question is whether we've seen capitulation in other asset prices too. This blue line shows uh, what's happened to industrial metals, uh, prices and of course it was industrial metals that were behind Glencore's problems. It's on a different axis so the scale of the fall that we saw was smaller but the broad pattern is the same. Again it looks like a fear driven drop hitting bottom and rebounding. Now the worst hit of the currencies dependent on commodity sales to China also looks similar. On here I've got the Brazilian real and the Indonesian rupiah against the dollar both of them saw an accelerating crash as fear came to dominate before sentiment turned around really quite dramatically in both of them in the past few days. Now again, fundamentals can always worsen and there are some serious problems, particularly in Brazil. But the fear about a Chinese hard landing damaging the market for their goods looks now to be fully priced in and possibly then some. It feels as though there's a slight easing of China concerns going on as investors increasingly note that the services sector there is at least in part replacing manufacturing as the engine of the economy. That might help to explain the turn in commodities, mining and oil shares and the most troubled emerging markets. The fundamentals, of course, do still look pretty grim. Motion City's soundtrack songs include The Worst Is Yet To Come and Don't Call It A Comeback. Hopefully, investors can stick to upbeat plastic pop combos instead and stay positive.